Eliana, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Fine. Hmm. Yeah, good. New hairstyle. Not different than yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I straight my hair <laughs> today. Mm -hmm. See, I, I noticed. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, we guys, we don't have the problem. Look at Nicholas and me. Same hairstyle every day, no problem. <laughs> right, Nicholas? <laughs> yeah, Nicholas says, man, nah, no problem. We just get a comb, you know, and that's it. I only uh, take help with my hands, only. That's it? <laughs> oh. So it's like 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. What you. about you? Yeah. What about you, Eliana? How long does it take you to get ready? Like mm. the makeup and the hair? Oh my God. An hour? Say what? An hour? The makeup and the hair? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And the whole thing? Shower, mm. makeup, hair, dress. Everything. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half. Oh, well, that's acceptable because some ladies take a long time in the shower. What about you, yeah. Nicholas? How long does it take you to get ready every day to go to work? Like the shower and everything. Well, uh, the time. Yeah. Well, I think uh, five, five minutes for uh, five five minutes the shower yes. get take dressed. a shower of course take or 10 minutes yeah oh my god so fast <laughs> same to me 10 minutes yes. the, the, the shower is practice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know i open the shower when the water it's getting to my feet i'm already with the soap <laughs> <laughs> Is more yeah. with the water cold, very cold. <laughs> Only one minute. Yeah, it's faster. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's for us. Well, but for us, it's simple. I mean, every single day is the same. Shirt, pants, socks, shoes, underwear. That's it. Oh, my God. I, uh, I check my outfit night before. Because oh, really? if I, yeah, because if I didn't do that in the morning, I'm just, I don't know what to wear. So <laughs> this is stressful looking for an outfit. 
I don't have that problem. Like, uh, let's see, for tomorrow, it's Wednesday. Okay, I know it's jeans. I just have options between tennis or boots. And polo shirt or regular t-shirt. And that's it. What? No problem. <laughs> well, I told you before that I love uh, blouses. So I I uh, pick first the like the my pants or the the the, the part um, the, the lower part the lower part and then I look for a match for that so for that so yeah. that means that once in a while you wear skirts what once on a while you wear skirts skirts ah uh, mm, yeah but not too often not too often so no. mostly you are a pants girl yeah oh pants but different type of pants so, uh, i don't know maybe palazzo or um more casual pants or jeans uh, i love palazzos they look nice yeah i love it i love palazzos too so i choose a uh, the low part first, then I I, then I look around. The, the, the blouse. Uh, yeah, and then the shoes, the heels or flats or maybe um, sandals. And then I I tried the whole outfit and I look at the mirror and hmm, I like it or mm, I don't like it. So I have <laughs> to do all the process again. <laughs> Let's see. Until I feel um, comfortable. Nicolas, what about you? How much time do you spend in front of the mirror? Only five seconds. Five seconds. Okay. Likewise. What? I, mean, I just get my, my, my sometimes uh, the, 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 the combing cream, you know, I just get it on my hands, apply it, get the, the brush, because I comb my hair with the brush. One side, the other side, look fine. I mean, it's just like that. So I, one side, the other side, I just look, it's okay, let's go. And it might, at my job is the, the place where I sometimes I apply on my face, but uh, sometimes I'm moisturizing and then uh, uh, sun blocker tops. But that's that's because of, of the skin. But besides that, nah, not much. Let's find out with Maria Alejandra. Maria Alejandra, what about you? How how long do you does it take you to get ready every day for, for work? Oh no, Maria Alejandra no, works from home. Yeah, I, I know. I in Bahama, in Pijama. Yeah, I know. She works in PGs. That's yeah. cool. I don't spend a lot of time in my clothes. <laughs> you don't spend no time getting ready. Okay, um, that's cool. Let Let's find know. out with, yeah. What about you, Heidi? Heidi needs to, to dress up almost every day, right? Heidi, you around? Well, Heidi is not ready. What about, oh, Jose Wilfredo. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, and thanks God, everything good. What about you? Well, you know, we are taking a poll here. Elena says that it takes her around one hour and a half to get ready every day. <laughs> wow, that's so much. Uh, Nicholas and me, we, uh, we average between eight to 10 minutes tops. What about you? Including shower. Ah, just to take a shower? Yeah. No, the whole I, thing. The whole thing? 
I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. Okay. Because Amanda I have the says she doesn't have, have the problem here. You have to what? I have to fix the beard. Oh yeah, you trim it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I when I have to, well, you know, in my case it's funny because when I shave, I prefer to shave at night. Uh, I mean, I it's because uh, the uh, the heater will be. Oh, yeah, hot. but in your case it's I different because I mean, yeah, in your case is different because uh, 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 you wear a, a a long beard, so you yeah, have to trim right. it and style it. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, but okay. fifteen but minutes, it's okay. I guess that. I guess that. Uh, uh, too much time because I have to, I have to measure the lines and something like that. Yeah, so in my, in my case, shaping is five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I uh, didn't wear, I guess. Wear, yeah, wear. Uh, wear beer. Uh, yeah, just five minutes, I guess, or three minutes. Uh, uh, when. I have a lot of hair, maybe, I don't know. But yeah. when yeah. I don't worry about a beard, I take like five minutes to be ready. A bird, a bird. Yeah. A bird. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not that complex to get ready for us guys. Let's yeah. see, we were asking, what about you, Ada? Hello, Ada. We're taking a poll right now. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Ada. Tell us, how long does it take you to get ready every day to go to work? Um, my day is a uh, relax. No, no, no. Uh, how long does it take you? ¿Cuánto le toma to get ready uh, every day? Alistar's. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> depend, teacher. <laughs> depend, they oh. wake up. <laughs> Okay, but on a regular day. Um, 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes, okay. Yeah, 20. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, because you know, one of your classmates, I will not say a name, she told me that it takes her one hour and a half. Oh. Every day. I'm not saying names because you know Eliana is looking at me like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, but we will find out somebody else. So thank you very much, Ada, and welcome. Yeah, Let's you. see who works out. Oh, well, Hi. Heidi, I don't know if she's around. I'm right here, teacher. Good okay, evening. Heidi. Now you have to dress up every day, I know, because of your job. Okay, tell us, Heidi, how long does it take you to get ready usually for a regular day? Of work? An, an hour. An hour, including shower and makeup, hair, everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You got kids. You need to. <laughs> because you have to also set time apart to help them, right? I really don't help them in the morning. Oh, that's, uh -huh. that's cool. I got, I got help. That's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. That's nice. Yeah, but still takes you an hour. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. One hour and a half, 20 minutes. One hour. But Alejandra says no problem. PG's all day long. That's cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 guys, Nicholas and me, we are like in 10 minutes. And I said 20 minutes, right? Oh, yeah, Ada. Ada says 20 minutes. She's beautiful. She doesn't need too much. Remember also her type of job. She's a doctor. She's a surgeon. So it's different. And in your case, it's quite different. You're saying Liana. And with us guys, it's a whole different story, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Let's find out another guy. There's Jose Smin. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Hello, mister. How are you? 
And great, great, thank you for asking. Okay, the question of the night is, how long does it take you to get ready for going to work? Okay, so basically like seven minutes or 10 minutes. Okay, that's cool. That's on a regular day, right, Dosmi? Yeah, so because I just usually wear like short and a t-shirt, that's it. Oh, you work from home, right? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's see, let's see, find, let's find out who else. Anna Claudia, what about you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good uh, evening. Well, as I work from home too, uh, I just take, uh, I divide my time in two, 15 minutes to take a shower, dress up because I work from home. And the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes will be to prepare my breakfast and take breakfast before starting. Or maybe sometimes the shift has started so, and I'm still uh, taking breakfast. <laughs> having breakfast. Having, having breakfast. breakfast. I'm sorry, always. Forget. Okay, I'm having breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. So that means that 30 minutes including breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Dress up cool. and uh, breakfast. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, 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 who else is around? Susana. Hello, Susana. Hello, teacher. How are you, Susana? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Susana. We are asking everybody about how long does it take them to get ready for work? What about in your case? How long does it take you? Yeah, sorry, teacher. I don't listen very much, but it's in my up front in my house. And the people has, has, no, have, have, have a, yeah. the culto. <laughs> oh really a service a religious service okay yes, never mind never mind we will talk I later don't, much. <laughs> don't worry welcome let's see fernando what about you fernando fernando very early good evening teacher good evening uh, you home already yes i'm home oh. already nice <laughs> I, I work from home today Oh, that's why, that's why. Well, that's good. Tell yeah. me, Fernando, now that you're going to the office on a regular day, how long does it take you to get ready? Uh, I take uh, it 30 takes minutes. Me. Uh, it, it takes me 30 minutes when I, minutes. in both moda modalities. Okay, doesn't matter. 20 minutes is, anyway. 30. 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes, yes. Yes, when when I well, yesterday I, I went to the office. Uh, I woke I woke up at four a.m. and four and four and a half and ready. Okay, because That's the, fine. the the bus is in um four thirty five, so in five okay. minutes <laughs> I walk to the street. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, with us guys, it's not that big deal, right? Yeah, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's like, yeah, I remember when, even when I was like, uh, that I have to dress up every day. I mean, uh, I just used to have my, my suit ready and get ready fast. Yeah, I used to, I used to prepare my, my clothes and my... Uh, my mochila, I'll be there. Backpack? Backpack. Yeah, my backpack at, at night before to go to the bed. So in the morning, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready in 30 minutes. Yeah. Usually in my case, let's see, in my backpack, I mean, I actually clean it every week. Every weekend, you know, I start taking out stuff 
and then trying to get everything ready but yeah it's like it doesn't take me long like right now i let's see i arrive home tonight uh, 7 45 and, and 5 to 8 i was connected already that means that I came home, I showered, got dressed, and was connected for the class 10 minutes. Okay. In 20 minutes, you, you do it. Yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, teacher, thank you. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Frank. Hello, Frank. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Sorry. Fine, fine. You know, here taking a poll, the old fight between men and women. You know, how long does it take you take you to get ready every day for going to work? Ah, okay. That's a uh... Very inter interesting topic. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's fun. You know, yes. a couple of ladies here are like not that happy with me right now. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them say 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 that. <laughs> what about you, Mister? How long does it take you? Well, as I am sure that my my uh, teammates uh, said not too much second, for me please just a second okay Sorry guys, somebody from the office, they are calling me, eh, trying to find out if I have class and I'm telling them I am in class right now. I guess they have a, a misunderstanding with the, with, the, with the code. So Frank, how long did you take me, it took you? It takes you? Well, uh, as my partners, I am sure that they said not too much for me. Um, for work, I I just need some to pre to to prepare to work, to dress me up, and all things like that. About 15, 20 minutes. Fifteen, twenty tops. Okay, yes. that's fine. But if I will prepare to a party or something more more formal, or a meeting more formal, maybe it could be a little bit more because you know i have to shave my face and yeah. try to to look more <laughs> to look nice i don't know yeah to look nice yes but okay, well, just for work about 15 or 20 minutes yes okay that's fine that's fine let's see roxana what about you roxana Hello, Roxana. I guess it's having a problem. Let's see who else is around. I'm sorry. Ah, tell me, Roxana. Good evening. What about you? How long does it usually take you? Mm, well, you know, my case is totally different because I'm from I, I'm working from home. So I just need to wake up and take and connect. a little But power. what about yeah. when you when you were going to the office, how long did it use to did it used to take you? I usually spend around forty minutes to uh, prepare all the stuff and taking the shower and 
go out. But uh, I remember that sometimes when I needed to wash my hair, I spend around uh, 30 minutes more. So I, 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 I remember that I spend around one hour and a half sometimes. So I prefer wash my hair at night and save okay. time in the morning. Yeah, that's right. You girls don't don't mm -hmm. wash your hair every day. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Man, a whole different story. Totally different. Yeah, it's complex because uh, you need to, well, well, in my case, I need to organize that uh, situation. So I try to do always um, at night. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay. So that means that um, when you have, when she has to do her hair, it's one hour and a half. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now I, I got two, I got two. And then it's like, yeah, I'm not alone. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the actually personal habits are quite different. All of us uh, perform those activities in a different way. But yeah, on average, usually for us guys, it's less complicated. Well, for us all guys, because some youngsters, man, it takes them long. Let's find out. I have some young people here. Marcos, what about you, Marcos? Hello, teacher. Um, for me, in my case, I spend like 30 minutes to get ready. 30 minutes, you Please. see, you see, he's younger. I can do this. <laughs> yes. Okay. 30 Perfect. minutes. Excellent. What about your, your case, Henry? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, well, in my case, in my case, I, I prepare all. I prepare everything in the at night. So, I put my alarm up for. I set oh, for. I set my alarm. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. I set my alarm for five and twelve and. And 13, but I postured, postured uh, three times in the morning. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. <laughs> so I wake, I wake up at mm, 30 minutes past five and, and I'm, I'm ready around 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Okay. And I, I go to the work for six o'clock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that happens to me, you know. I got two alarms. One at <laughs> I, I have three. <laughs> I got one at 5.45. I got the second one at 5.50. And the third one is when they yell to me, Douglas, wake up. And I'm like, man, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm ready. Yeah. Because usually, let's see. Yeah, it's like in your case. I mean, I sometimes I'm up like at six and around six ten six fifteen i'm out of my house oh really that's quite simple yeah yeah and i mean that includes that uh, i let the the car or the motorcycle idle uh, like a three or four minutes oh and the motorcycle is faster than yeah, the car I, yeah but i let them idle do you know that word uh, no, 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 no. Uh, what is the it, meaning? It's when you turn the, the motor, you start the motor. Okay. okay. And you let it like set. You give it a few minutes before you leave. Okay, okay. Like, I we understand. say it in Spanish, warm up. In Spanish, okay, calentarla. We we warm, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I let it eat a couple of minutes before I leave, but yeah. Okay. It's fast okay. for us. Thank you. Thank you, mister. You're welcome. Let's see. I still got 
couple of people, but before I continue with my poll, I will get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Henry Neftali Méndez Torres. I'm here. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Thank you, Nicolás. Yeah, Rebecca here, Jasmine. Teacher. Thank you. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Pues contente, Fernando. Whoopsie. Okay, guys, just so we can set something here so I can work better and easy. This. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Ambar. Hello, Ambar. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? Just fine, just fine. You know, same old story. And tell me, Ambar, what about in your case? How long does it take you to get ready in order to? Like, I mean, if you have to go out, how long does it take you? Sorry, can you repeat me, please? If you have to go out in the morning, uh, how long does it take you to get ready? Shower, get dressed and everything. Yes, uh, when, when I, in my, sorry, my daily routine is, at first I woke up and then I take a shower and sometimes I go out because I I will I go to the uh, how do you say tienda store to the store yeah but uh, what I mean is in this case imagine that uh, when you used to go to the office cuando solía ir a la oficina how uh, long how long did it take you to get ready ¿Cuánto le tomaba mm. alistarse? <laughs> I don't remember very well because it was two years ago, but maybe one hour, one hour one or hour. one hour half. Mm -hmm. And a half. Okay. Yeah, yes. that's free. That's free. Thank you, Amor. Interesting. Thank you. Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Trying to cook in the, my dinner. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I will not, I will take so much of your time. Just tell me, how long does it take you every day to get ready in order to go to work? Well, like 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. Excellent. Yes, that's it. 
It's a no for me. <laughs> Great. Cool. Keep on cooking. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. 20, 30 minutes. Okay. And let's see. There's Stephanie. Stephanie, what about you? So I really take around one hour, but it's because I start doing, you know, another things. So see my cell phone, listen to music. I'm doing other things less than what I have to do. For that, I have to wake up early. <laughs> okay. But, no, not for that. That's why. That's why I have to wake I up have early. I have to wake up early. Yeah, it's a whole different story. With us. Yeah. Well, yeah. My usual no, day. Uh, yeah, your regular day. Yeah, it's it's quite different. I mean, for for us guys, as I was telling you, it's it's different because it's easy. I mean, we just wake up, what, shower, shave, shirt, pants, shoes, and that's it. But you girls, yeah. I mean, you accessorize, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to to do my makeup on the on the work, but I start doing at home. It's easy to do it here because I think I I did the makeup faster than I do on the work. So it's better for me. I feel like um it's better to take uh this time in my house than in the work. <laughs> yeah, well. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, teacher. Yes, I was telling you guys, uh, it's quite different because uh, girls, ladies, uh, which was the word I used? Oh, you accessorize. Like, uh, I don't know, some of you perhaps fancy, um, like Heidi, I'm sorry, Heidi, we're going to be the example. Some of you perhaps fancy wearing a, like a necklace. And, but I mean, you cannot wear them with every single piece of cloth you got. I mean, you gotta choose. And then if you got the necklace, I imagine that you have to be careful which earrings are you wearing, right? Which earrings and, and since we don't use uniform, you have to be careful not to repeat the clothes. You know, women think about that. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, I got a bunch of, Black shirts, gray shirts, blue shirts. And in my case, pants. Ooh. I got a bunch of pants. But my jeans are blue, black, simple. And if it's uh, like, uh, like uh, regular trousers, slacks, mm -hmm. regular trousers, uh, well, I love khakis. I love khakis. And yeah, is. and of course the the formal pants, but that's a whole different story because I mean that's not a problem because they match. I have the the pants ready for uh, certain color of shirts, and if I have to wear the 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 the, the jacket, the suit, I mean I have everything set apart, so that's not a problem. You know what's my problem, Heidi? Uh -huh. My problem sometimes is choose. I Why don't it? choose because I don't know. That's funny. My wife makes fun of me because there was a time when I used to have more pairs of shoes than her. <laughs> really? I love yeah. shoes too. I love when, them. Literally. <laughs> when, when I just when I just got married, I mean I had like 20 pairs of shoes. <laughs> So, but right now, no, I don't have that many. I just got boots, boots, tennis, let's see. Green, white, gray, blue, black. How about oh, red? <laughs> no, I don't like the red. And let's see, and I got loafers. You know loafers? No. Loafers are the shoes that women wear that are not like they're not dressing shoes, 
but they are like present shoes and we just, they are slip ons. Mm. Like and flats. Sometimes, yeah, like flats. Like in your case, for you will be flats. For mm -hmm. us, they are called loafers. They, mm -hmm. they used to be called penny loafers. Mm. Because uh, and back in the days, you know, penny loafers were shoes that you slip them on. In this part here, on the upper part, mm -hmm. they used to have a little piece of like, a little piece of, of, of leather, right? Mm -hmm. Back in the days, there was a fashion in the States that was like for kids or pretty young guys you used to wear them. And mm -hmm. you know, pennies, they used to chime pennies. You know what is a penny? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A one cent, a one cent. Coin. 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 They used to shine it up and slip it in the middle of the of that piece of, of leather. Or That's maybe. why they got the name of penny loafers. <laughs> That's the name. I actually I love penny loafers. I love loafers. I got three pairs of loafers. They are so comfortable. Yeah, but I mean. That takes me choosing which pair of shoes I'm going to wear takes me like 30 seconds. Mm. Easy, mm. easy. Yeah, but in your case, ladies, it's a whole different story. You know, I, I used to wear a lot of high heels a lot. I love them, but but not anymore. I use no high more? heels, not, not, that, not that high. Okay. Well, you know, I got I got a competence. I got your competence right here in this group. You have a <laughs> really? classmate here. Yeah, you got a classmate here in this group. And you know, I remember one time, like a few months ago, that person showed us uh, how many pairs of high heels she had. At that time, we counted like 25 or something. Are they more now, Roxana? Roxana, All right. have you bought more high heels since last time we talked about them? I have, but I don't use anymore. Okay, how many pairs do you have now? Uh, I don't know, maybe around 15. Oh, not too many. High heels. Yeah, high heel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I guess, I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I could never understand. Well, yeah, ladies always explain to me, depending on what you're wearing is the type, is the, the color yes. and the style. Yeah. Man, I, I can understand the color. The mm -hmm. You know, I, I used to understand. use high heels even when I was pregnant. Even I used until to wear. I was, I used, I used to, wear. to wear, yeah. And, and and I used to wear them I, until I was on the eighth eight month. Until Man. my foot got too, too fat. <laughs> Believe too it or solemn. not. Too solemn. Uh -huh. Believe it or not. Oh, oh my God. If, I, really if I didn't use them. high heels, my, my heart back. My heart. My back. My back hearts. hearts. Mm -hmm. Used to hurt. <laughs> okay. Well, that's new for me. That's new for me. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, wearing high heels still ice, yeah, still ice the body. Yeah, it's different, you know. Uh, but uh, it's such a pain to learn how to walk with high heels. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, no, when I say it's a pain, uh -huh. I mean, it's that it's complicated. When I, when I use that expression, when I use that expression, it's a pain to learn how to and work. I am saying that it is complicated <laughs> to learn how to work. Yeah, no, for you girls, no, but <laughs> yes, it is complicated. I mean, uh, I remember while I was in, in practicing for theater and a couple of times we had to we had to cover some roles of ladies and and the, 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 the teacher used to, the director actually used to 
ask us to learn how to wear them. Man, that was difficult. Yeah, and, and all the girls were like that, laughing because man, that thing is dangerous. Mm -hmm. You can imagine. Yeah, it was dangerous and pretty funny for the girls. <laughs> pretty funny. Hey guys, pretty nice conversation. Thank you very much. We just hold a very informal conversation. Thanks all of you. Let's see, I guess everybody participated. Mm -hmm. No, just Ramon. I'm sorry, Ramon. Didn't ask you. Uh, nor Jackie. But uh, we need to move on. Something that I was noticing and is that the grammar topic for today, actually, you are using it appropriately. And today we are going to talk about the definite article. How to use that. T-H-E. Okay? And it's very simple. Uh, before we get into it, because we are, according to my plan, we are going to get into that around 9.20. Uh, but before getting into that, I want to, I wanted to, to, to review, to go over some situations that we have had the opportunity to explain during the class. Like, I remember that, um, I remember that some of you used to tell me right at the beginning, oh yeah, on Sundays, I go to the church. And I, uh, and I used to tell them, no, on Sundays, I go to church. Why there's not the article? Because you use the article when you are talking with somebody and the other person know which church do you attend to? I mean, it's different if I am like, a, you know, uh, I have I have known Heidi for years and we've been friends and we we follow the same religion and we attend the same church. So Heidi is telling me, look, uh, tomorrow I have to go to the church. In that case, she uses that because we both know which specific church she's referring to. But imagine I just met Heidi like one month ago and Heidi asked me, hey, teacher, what do you do on, on Saturdays at night? And I tell her, oh, look, this coming Saturday, I have to go to church. She doesn't know my religion. She doesn't even know where I live. She doesn't know which church do I attend. So in that case, the article doesn't go there. Okay, I have to go to work. I have to go to my workplace. Okay, like uh, I have to go to the school. In this case, if I say I have to go, look, tomorrow morning I have to go to the school. And you go like, which is school? In this case, I need to say, oh, tomorrow morning I have to go to school because you don't know which school I am referring to. If it's my school, if it's another school that I have, I'm going to visit. So I'm talking in general. When you use it like in general, you don't use the article, okay? Because the article, T-H-E, it's a definite article, okay? You're being specific, okay? Like uh, Ileana was telling me that uh, she spends a lot of time applying makeup in general, but uh, she starts arguing with her sister and she tells her sister, look, where's the lipstick? I have right here. Oh, her sister knows because she always takes uh, Ileana's lipstick. So she knows specifically, you use the article when you are being specific, okay? But we are going to get with more examples later on the class. Before we move on that, let me just check there is something here. Okay. Just one second, guys.
one little second. Okay, perfect. Sorry, my bad. I was just checking out something on the lesson plans to see if I help over everything. And yet, yeah, it is okay. Well, before I forget, uh, if I'm not mistaken, some of you got an email today, right? Related to the survey. Yes, the training. Yes. Okay, perfect. Don't forget. What's that message in. is the one that I got. I, I request message in WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, some of you got it perhaps there. Perhaps some of you got it on a on a, on an email. And anyway, remember, please. That's for Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's for Friday. We're gonna do it together. We're gonna do it together and let's see. It's gonna be easy. I'm gonna let you know beforehand what specific time we're gonna be holding that survey. And let's see what else. Mm -hmm. The platform, guys, the platform, the platform. I have seen some advances, but not as much as I expected. Sure, after the class, we can review some uh, exercise. Yeah, stay over. Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, because I got, let's see. Right now, I got one person who has just worked section one, not two. And yeah, of course, I have some of you who have already finished, and that's great. But there are some of us that uh, are still working on it. Please don't forget, it's for Friday. Friday midnight is the deadline. So uh, if we can advance a little bit these days, we still got two more days. Well, let's continue. Conversation. We're going to talk. Okay. Do you remember yesterday we were talking about... Uh, the art of conversation, right? Now, let's see. Heidi, tell me, in a conversation, what is your role? Do you dominate or do you subordinate? It depends who I'm talking to. Okay, it's nice answer. Please explain yourself. For example, if I'm talking to uh, a person who works for me, it's different if I'm talking to a person I work for or who I can learn. Depends. Okay, okay perfect. Excellent. Frank, what's your case? What's your role in, your converse, in a conversation? Well, uh... It's the same as, as Heidi because if I am interested in someone, I mean, in keep the conversation mm. with someone. Ah, <laughs> no, okay. No, okay. talking about work and. Yeah, watch out, yeah. watch out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about work. Uh, if i interested uh, in someone, I mean, in their knowledge and something like that, I, I. You sometimes dominate. You sometimes. Yeah, I want to 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 learn a lot from that person, okay. right? So I ask a lot and I try to pay to find to pay attention that Excellent. they Excellent. he wants to say yes. 
Great. Now let's see, let's see. Where's, where's, where's? Hmm. Ana Claudia gets your gloves on. We're gonna have a nice conversation. I got a good one for you. My God. Okay, Ana Claudia. Who communicates better, men or women? Mm, my Not God. <laughs> you know, you can be loved and you can be hate at the same time. <laughs> Uh, well, I think that all women, we are all known as the talkative person. So I think that, um, well, it depends. Yeah, but, but I'm not asking about if you are communicative or no, if you are talkative. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about communicate. And you know what I'm talking about when I say mm -hmm. this. Communicate. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, for me it's 50-50 because there are some excellent communicators, men, and others are women. No, for okay. me 50-50. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me, what makes their style better if it's a, if it's a lady? Let's imagine that you say like girls, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Me, what for makes example, their style better? My reference is the last... Uh, speech I heard for Dr. Cindy McGraw. Remember I told okay. you about her? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, she's a uh, motivational, motivational, is that the correct word? Yeah. Okay. A woman and she's known as the first lady of sales. The way how she makes the example so easy to digest, making it, making the compar comparisons with, um, uh, things that, that you daily do as a task at home or at your job makes them easy to remember. I don't know. She has a, an excellent style to explain things with few words and they are not easy to forget. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Anna mm -hmm. Okay. Diana Claudia was like, why me? Now let's see, Eliana, I got a good one for you. Okay. Okay, you're single, right? Right. right. Okay, perfect. No, but I'm not going to ask you. The first one I thought I was going to ask you. This is the second <laughs> one. On a scale of one to 10, how do you rate your conversational skill with the opposite sex? <laughs> My God. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Maybe it depends because if uh if it's someone new, maybe a five. Because um I don't know, sometimes I'm very shy. Okay. Uh, but if we are talking about uh, uh, with a friend. For example, maybe a nine because I already know him. So it's more easy for me to keep a conversation. But if he, so but if he's someone it, new, maybe it takes you longer to get to know someone. To be yeah. to feel comfortable, listen to me. It takes longer for you to feel comfortable around somebody new. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome, teacher. Now, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Jose Wilfredo. I'm a teacher. Okay, I know, I know that you got friends that are men and women friends, so that's not a problem for you, right? You got friends mm -hmm. from, both, from both sexes. Okay, yep. now tell me, how do conversations between men and women differ from your point of view? I guess the depend on the topic, teacher. Okay, please explain. Okay, I don't know, maybe. 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe when we are only with men, we talk about the sports or something like that. That maybe is kind of uh, the sports. And uh, we have women included in the conversation. We have to talk about, I don't know, other, uh, maybe for clothes or shoes or, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Be careful, be careful. Some girls are here like, oh yeah, this is stereotyping <laughs> us. <laughs> no, but yeah, interests it's, it's really Interests are different. Yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. Okay, now this one is a beautiful one. Let's see who's gonna be Roxana. I got a beautiful one for you. Uh, hi, sorry. I got a beautiful question for you. Tell me. What types of arguments do you hate to lose? Do you hate to lose? What is the meaning for lose? Oh. Which topic do you feel so good at that you don't like it when, when you get into an argument with somebody and you lose it? Well, all the time, uh, women need to have the reason, you know. Uh, but uh, in my case, when the conversation is um, kind of difficult for some stuff, I try to uh, don't um, fight. This no, to no argue. Sorry? Argue. Argue. It says discutir. Yeah. So I try to don't argue with the other person and give the reason. It's okay. my position. I I try to do my I try to say my arguments and if I'm agree or if I'm in the correct no, if I, I agree. If I agree, I try to explain that. But if the other person don't uh, have the same, doesn't, uh, doesn't the same uh, argument, just I try to change topic and uh, focus in on other things. So, no, I, I, I try to don't spend time in flying, Fly, fighting, flying. Yeah, flying. arguing, arguing. Argument, yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay. Now, 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 let's see. Mm. Okay. Where's... Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. Fernando. Yes, sir. Okay, you know, there's some people that, like, they're, they are, they, and got no filter. I mean, they say things as they feel it, as they think it. So how do you feel about blunt people? Blunt people. Blunt. Um, blunt, blunt. Oh, I feel good with that kind of people. Okay, please explain me why. Yeah, I, I, I really like people that express your feeling tell the truth and I don't know I love to be a, a sarcastic a sarcastic person and I think that for for to be a sarcastic person you need to be uh blum okay interesting interesting thank you very much yeah. now let's see Marcos tell me I got a question for you uh, in your case, Marcos, because you are a young guy, at least you look pretty young, tell me, how do you feel about conversations with people older, older than yourself? Do you enjoy them? Do you hate them? Do you feel like, ah? Uh... Uh, for me, it's interesting having a conversation with older people because I learn 
from all the stories that they had to, to, to tell me. For example, um, the time in the civil war in our country is very interesting. Um, um, what else? The transition of uh, all the transition that our country has been involved. And also, I like to, to take note about, about the advices that older people um, have to tell me. And for me, it's very interesting. I am very comfortable uh, talking with older people. No problem to me. Okay, well, thank you. Now, 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 let's see. Who is it gonna be right now? Oh yes, yeah, Stephanie. Tell me. Okay, tell me, Stephanie. What do people do that drives you crazy in a conversation? Hmm, okay. I think when, when, okay, it's not like make me crazy, but it's just kind of like. Um, annoying. I guess, uh, uh, no, annoying. Mad to me when they stay in the, in the cell phone when I'm talking with them. <laughs> That's something okay. that I really don't like. And, and for example, I start a conversation and then I just see that the person is on the cell phone. It's kind of that you're not paying me attention. So, or yes, maybe maybe that or when they start, um, I don't know, listening to music or doing another thing. I think um, another thing, maybe that. I think it's the, the thing that I don't like because usually, usually we have this kind of rule in our home that when we start, when we have lunch, dinner or whatever we want, and we don't have our cell phones on the kitchen. So we just talk. So maybe for that, but that is something that made me crazy, I think. <laughs> Okay, drives me, drives me drives crazy. Me crazy. <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you. Okay. Now, let's see, we're going to talk, we're going to change topic, we're going to change topic, but before that, uh, let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Aire Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. I'm here teacher. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Ciumara Morales de Castro. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Xiomara Morales. Oh, she's still present. Thank you. Okay, guys, now different topic. We're going to talk about beauty. We're going to talk about physical attractiveness. Okay, I got 
a couple of questions, but we are going to discuss these questions working in the group, working in groups, okay? I'm gonna give you four questions that you're gonna be asking and answering with your classmates, and they are pretty simple. Okay, let's see. Questions are this one. The first one, who do you think is the most beautiful person in your country? Who do you think is the most beautiful person alive today? Okay. Who was the most beautiful person in history from your point of view? Who is the most attractive in your family? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so we are going to talk about that. I need you to ask and answer those questions with your classmates because when we come back, I will pick some of you to tell me about your classmates to report about what did your classmates uh, said, but where their answers, okay? You're gonna be working in groups of two or three members, okay? Just let me check a little something. Okay. Oh. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. You will have seven minutes for this activity and I will be going from group to group. Think is the most beautiful person in your country. Um, well, for us, Meryl guys, if the wife is present, it's easy, right? Yes, the true. <laughs> Otherwise, you, you know. Same, uh, <laughs> Otherwise, you we are in deep in big problems. You know, Jose. <laughs> yes, the true. But well, we have to. Yeah, that's life, you know, that's life. Just life for a moment. <laughs> yeah. For, for me, my country is, is a beautiful, it's my, for me, yeah. in my daring, my, my mom. <laughs> okay, and what about in the whole world? Who's the most attractive person for you, Susana? Uh, why? Who? King. Ah, uh, for me, my country? No, in or the whole world, family? in todo el mundo. Ah, in the world. Mm. Mm. Uh, was, was this a... Uh, Madre Teresa Calcuta. <laughs> okay. Is it no, no physical? And no. Uh, who's the remedy? Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
because he was a godson mm -hmm. and he he gave his life for us. I don't know. Uh -huh. And who's the most attractive in your family? Mm, I don't know. My mom, too. <laughs> okay. So. What about so you, Heidi? Who's the most attractive in your family? My husband. <laughs> okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see. And my second family. place, my son. Let's see, my family. Mm, me, of course. Whatever. <laughs> hmm. To be honest, I don't I don't really pay attention to that. That's the what same. Amber was saying. That we we never think about this topic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's why sometimes I sleep with the dog, you know? Mm -hmm. That happens, that happens. Okay, but what about, who do you think is the most beautiful person alive today? Like, uh, I don't know, actors, uh, whatever. There's only one actor I've always liked, you know? Uh -huh. It's David Hasselhoff. Mitch okay. Buchanan in Baywatch. Yeah, 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 I know. I know who David uh -huh. has. Uh, okay. He's the only actor I like because I don't usually like singers or actors. Okay. That's fine. I what always you, appreciate they, they, I usually appreciate not their beauty, but their talents. Okay. Excellent. What about you, Amber? Um, in my case, I think the the most beautiful person, my mom. But uh, if I talk about famous person, I think it's Johnny Depp. It's my favorite actor. Is okay. uh, how do you say po polyphasetic? I don't know. Polyphasetic. Polyphasetic actor, and I like him. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. We usually focus on the person who is of uh, the opposite sex, right? See, in my case, ooh, famous person, mm, it's hard for me because you know, when I was younger, I was like, I had a big crush on Gwyneth Paltrow. And then, oh, really? yeah, yeah, I mean, I was she's like, beautiful oh. and good actress, yeah, of course. And then, let's see, and it's funny because it's the style, you know, the same happens to me with Charlie Theron. And actually, they are pretty, they got similar uh, aspects. Let's see, there's Fernando. Ask Fernando, girls. He's around. <laughs> Let me go check the rest of the groups. It's very smart. Exactly. Yeah. It was a, a, a person that had a lot of... Um... The rebellion for the empire. Mm, yeah. Who was that? We, lady, lady D, we mm. we are discussing the third question: Who was the most beautiful person in history? And we are agree that Lady D was a very a very beautiful woman. Also, she was very smart. Um, mm. She had a lot of presence, mm. and and made a lot of of things that actually changed the society, that had an impact. Mm a very yeah. positive impact in history. Yeah, you know, I am more shallow. <laughs> Let's see, in my case, hmm. she wasn't blonde. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and Viviana goes like, no. <laughs> you got my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Viviana, tell me, who is the most attractive person in your family? Okay, honestly, I think my sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think my sister. I don't know. Maybe because she's my my little sister. I don't know if it's because ah, of that. Ah, she's the favorite one. I think. Okay, now let's <laughs> listen to the opposite side. Let's listen to a father and husband. Who is the most attractive in your family, Nicholas? Uh, well, uh, I think in my second son. Uh, okay. Yes, I think he, the the perfume is correct. The mm -hmm. word, he, yes, the perfume is is very the delicate. Pro, profile. Ah, thank you. Profile. The profile is very delicate, and uh, and in your clothes are yes. his clothes are very are very. Presentable. Okay. Okay. So he's got a good style. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. He's for your style. Okay, perfect. What about you, Jacqueline? Who's the most attractive in your family? In my family, I think it's my grandma. Okay. My grandma. She's an elegant woman. Uh, I really admire her. Okay, that's For me, nice. she was I, attractive. She is uh, 60 years old, but she looks um, younger. Oh, nice. Younger. Yeah. In my She's case, a, well. A very active uh, woman. In my case, let's see. Well, I cannot say me. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that physically physically attractive Ooh. I got a couple of cousins that man I mean man <laughs> yeah to be honest uh, with you uh, I got a couple of cousins male and female and they are damn attractive. For real. I mean, at least uh, the, the physical attributes that I find attractive on a person. Because I mean, I got a couple of cousins that they are like 180, blonde, uh, green. One is green eyes and his, his twin is blue eyed. Wow. They're twins. And I mean, Gee, what can I tell you? And uh, on that side of the family, also a couple of the girls, they are pretty attractive. Well, actually, uh, one of them is living in Germany right now. She got married to a German guy and she passes by German. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're nice. And then there's me. No oh. <laughs> No comments. No. So no comments at all. <laughs> okay, guys, let me go check the rest of the groups. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you, teacher. Is the uh, how do you say uh, prima cousin, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the teacher. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I just said that in the other group. I mean, I got a couple of cousins, but they are, they are pretty, pretty attractive. Yes, well, uh, no, actually, to be honest, in my case, one of my nieces, yeah, one of my nieces, I mean, actually, to be honest with you, she was working as a model for uh, Univision. When she was like 14. 
she's she very attractive. Here for, she? Yeah, she used to work as a, in some TV programs, uh, talk shows, uh, some model. She was 14 or 15, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's cute. And of course, as I told the other groups, there's always me, okay? You know, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> Roxana, who's the most attractive in your family? She left. Gosh. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Heidi told me that the most attractive person in her family is her. No, she didn't. Let's see, guys, I got more questions for you. Okay, let's see. I got a question, a different. Hey, Frank, I got a question for you. I need your opinion on something. Tell me, teacher. Okay, the question is very simple. Tell me, what do you think of the proverb that says uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Can you repeat me the question, please? You can check it out in the Zoom chat. What do you think of the proper beauties in the eye of the beholder? What is the meaning? The question? I don't okay. know the, the meaning of beauty beholder. Is, beauty is in the eye of the person who is watching the other one. Okay, got it, got it. Yes, got it. Uh, well, um, I'm agree with that proverb because, I mean, all of us have have different kind of like gustos, no say, I don't know how taste. to say. Yeah, taste. taste. Yes, yes, and it's different between each other. So I think that is a correct uh, proverb, yes. Okay. Yes, I'm agree with that. Nice, okay. Now, this one is a little bit more complex. Let's see. Fernando. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, I need you to think about this. What do you think beauty is skin deep means? Beauty is skin deep. What do you think it means? What does it mean? Beauty is skin deep. Means uh, skin deep. Sorry, I, I don't understand that. that. Okay. Skin. When we say that beauty is skin deep, we are saying that beauty is superficial. Oh, superficial. Yeah, that's the that's the meaning of that uh, that saying, that proverb. Okay. Okay. Now, do you agree with that opinion? Beauty is skin deep? Yes, I agree. Would you mind explaining to me why? Uh, because uh, a person perhaps looks uh, like a beautiful person, physical, but in your inside... The inner self. The inner self. The inner self. The, the inner self. Can you can you write? Yeah, the inner, inner self. self. The inner. 
but in, in the inner cell. But in the inner cells, this person perhaps is not beautiful. It's a horrible person or something like that. Because the, the, I think that the beauty, the beauty in, in a person is um, inside, not only physical. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now guys, next topic. This one is, mm. to be honest with you, I was thinking about it, placing, posting these questions for you or not, but I mean, you need to talk about anything. So tell me guys, do you think people with many tattoos can be beautiful? How many tattoos are too many? Do you understand that idea? How many tattoos are too many, demasiados? And then, would you ever get a tattoo? Okay, those questions. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Stephanie, do you think people with many tattoos can be beautiful? What's your opinion? Uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of that like you say. Uh, the the beauty is in the eyes for the people that see. But I think I like the the, the tattoos. But I I mean I people that don't like the tattoos. I think it depends. I think yes, the people is beautiful that the way they are. <laughs> you know. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. What about you, Rebecca? What's your opinion? Okay, let's listen to Maria Alejandra. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Tell me, Maria Alejandra, do you think people with many tattoos can be beautiful? Um, I think that depends. Uh, it depends for the people, teacher, because if you um, have a tattoo and only have a dark ink or uh, the like these uh, manchas negras or tinta negra yeah i don't have a, the i don't have idea what the meaning of or the idea one you do but if i if you like oh, it oh you mean the tribal ones yeah uh -huh. those are tribal yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. but i think that um it's okay but when I have a lot of lot of lot of in the body I, I don't know i think that no <laughs> okay would you ever get one maria Alejandra? yes i thinking in this moment don't have but if i consider the to make a tattoo is a uh, to remind me or remind a moment of person that I missing. Okay. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. We're Teacher. gonna go to the yep. Sorry. Um, and and um, my profession. Uh, in a medicine, it's difficult to see that beauty is on a who has many tattoos. It's keep from me upon the to be taboo on the how they are made. It's very difficult, and the person, the patients, um, some visto así con con un poco yeah. de. Re, re licencia, algo así se dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fair, no, I right? understand you. In your area, it's like, uh, I mean, our people are more conservative, perhaps. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, that's it's very right. Frequent, it's very frequent. The, the patients is and the tattoos in different. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in your area, as you said, it's, I mean, it's more conservative, the people, and it's different. Now, let's see, what about Heidi? What about you? 
Mm, it's that I, I think that the uh, beautifulness is a concept. What is beautiful for me might not be beautiful for you. Okay. And I would, for example, I don't like tattoos. So that enough, means but that I you respect, will never get one. No, no, but I respect people who, who likes them. Then for me, it's all about respect. It's their thing and that's it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, what about you, Nicholas? Well, uh, I think I I I was uh, I I think it's very interesting uh, one tattoo in in the body. Of course, no no very big little little tattoo with a reference uh, uh, about something topic. special. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, identify uh, one reason for for, okay. for for me or okay. for one person. I think but, it's very very interesting. But you say that you said that uh, it must be discreet. Yes, of course, of course. Okay. No, uh, no, very scandalous. Yeah, yeah. Showy, showy, showy. No, very showy. No very no, showy. Showy, showy. Show, showy. No very showy. showy. Yeah. No very, okay. no very showy. Okay, let's see. Let's listen to Ana Claudia. What's your opinion? Yeah, you can imagine Ana Claudia with a big one in all her <laughs> backs. <laughs> no, uh, I, you know, I don't like them, but I, the same as other um, classmates said, I respect people who decide to wear tattoos. Uh, in my job, it's common to have. It, to be honest, you don't wear them. You have them because they are for Oh, good. okay. People who has who has tattoos. Uh, you know, what happened is that I think, I don't know how to make the difference between good or bad tattoos. And I had like uh, some experience when I was communing and we had like a, like a type kind of ride with one of my neighbors. And always um, on weekdays, I return to, to Santa Ana with her and other colleagues. One of them, he has tattoos in one of his arms. And every time that police officers, uh, they stop us and make all the verifications when they always look the his tattoos, always we spend like around 30 minutes or 45 minutes because they need to verify us for the ID number. They need to verify he doesn't belong to any blah, blah, blah. So I think as a culture, we, I don't know how to identify good or artistic or bad or good tattoos. So for that reason, in order to live in peace, I, and that to not complicate my life, I don't like them. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I got another expression for you guys to, to analyze. Look, pretty is as pretty does. Weird, right? Pretty is as pretty does. Okay, let me explain to you what's the idea behind this. With that expression, uh, what you really mean is that character and behavior are more important than good looks, okay? So it's more important if somebody is kind, a loving person, it's more important than if you are beautiful, okay? Or, but if you are a very good looking, but are not nice to other people, then, you are not a truly beautiful person. That's the idea that you imply when you say pretty is as pretty does, okay? And sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes 
there's another expression that I will share with you. Let me get it. Okay. Sometimes there are some people that, I mean, are like this. What you see is what you get. Okay. Uh, when you refer to that type of person, uh, there is nothing hidden. What you are looking is the real thing. Okay. It's as simple as that. Nothing hidden and the person. It's authentic. That person, yeah, it's authentic. Thank you. Perfect. Hi. That's the idea I wanted to express. I mean, that person, the way you see that person is, talks and behaves, that's what that person is really on the inside, okay? What you see is what you get, as simple as that, okay? Those are common sayings in English. I mean, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, uh, beauty is skin deep, what you see is what you get. Okay, and this this last expression, what you see is what you get. Also, you can also use it for for situations, not just for people. Okay, in a situation, in a context, where like I mean, uh, you pay for a you pay for a room in a hotel, and you get, and it's not like a, I mean, it cannot be improved. You see. You say like, well, what you see is what you get. That's what you pay for. No way out. Well, let's go check something else as I told you at the beginning. Oh, okay. There we go, oops, my bad. Here. How to use the definite article da. Remember, guys, the pronunciation of this varies according to the to the next sound. If the next sound, the following sound is a vowel sound, then the pronunciation is d. If the following sound is consonant, is the or da. Like in this case, the ability. Okay, but let's see. Use the plus a noun when the hearer or the reader already has a reference of the noun you are referring to. Like in the example I was giving you, uh, I need to go to the church. That means that you know which specific church I need to go to. Use the plus count noun to express that the noun is specific as opposed to general. Augmented reality has the ability to blur the boundaries between the physical and digital worlds. Okay, you see the ability. We are talking about a specific ability, which is that specific ability to blur. Okay, to blur what the boundaries, which boundaries? Oh the ones that are between the physical and the digital worlds. So in this case, we're being specific. The business that win the battle of customer service can gain a competitive advantage. This sentence specifically is being applied in a specific context. The ability to offer a self-service approach to consumers is very important. Again, we're talking about a specific ability, which is to offer a self-service approach to consumers. That's the ability. The ability we are referring to is specifically this, is in the context, okay? 2017 will be the year of technology and customer service. Now, look. The term zero, zero article is used to refer to the case when a noun is not preceded by an article. Articles we got definite, a, and, or that, right? No article or zero article is used with proper nouns. 
mass nouns and plural count nouns where the reference is general, not specific. Okay? Consumers are no more tech safe. Consumers in general, not specific. Okay? We are talking about any type of consumer. Look at the next one. Artificial intelligence can enhance the shopping. In this case, it's a mass noun, artificial intelligence. We are talking about a mass noun, okay? It's, it refers to something big. Many things can form artificial intelligence. I mean, it cannot be defined just with just one word. It's a mass noun because it encompasses a lot of concepts. Okay, in exercise number five, we need to cross out any unnecessary determiners. And we are going to work in groups and we are going to compare with the, our classmates, okay? We've got social robots already work in the customer service. The technology has changed the way that business interact with customers. Businesses are taking full advantage of the smartphone revolution through mobile apps, the retailers and customers real-time information about the products and offers. The big data analytics is changing how the business operate and communicate with customers. They continually gather and analyze the data to improve the experience. Okay, you need to cross out where the determiner is not necessary, okay? I'll send you to work in the groups and I'll send you the screenshot so you can check it out again, okay? Groups are open and I'm sending you the screenshot right about now. Hey, Marcos, I guess the ladies are having problems with connection because a lot of people are like jumping back, I mean, on and off. But you can work okay. on your own right now, right? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, perfect, perfect. No problem. I'll go check out the rest of the groups because and there are, there's another group that is on the same situation. Okay, teacher.
already working in customer service. I think I well I I I think that the the terminal or the sorry the the <laughs> sorry I have a cat here um the necessary worries the article the okay but you need to cross out the ones that are not necessary okay okay I'll give you a tip. Mm -hmm. In just one sentence, you are not crossing. The rest ah, of them have to. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Such a good I mean, The article that is in just one sentence is necessary. It's necessary. Okay, it could be number one. <laughs> no. No. Mm. In number two, technology has changed the way that business mm. is with customers. In this case, I think. Okay, guys, do you want a tip? Yes, please. Okay, there's just one sentence where you are not crossing the article. Ah, okay. In the rest of them, cross. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Uh, I'm helping you just because Francisco is in this group because you know, <laughs> Santa Claudia and Roxana, man. Let's see. You know, I have never, I didn't remember how to use D and I never thought, I don't remember how to use it. So now it's like, oh my God, I've been using yeah, D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't we don't usually use it in the proper way. Mm -hmm. but yes, that because... happens because that's the way we think in Spanish. In Spanish, uh -huh. we for everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, because right now we are looking the the description with Roxana for when we use the plus a noun when the reader or the really are re reader are ready has a reference of the noun you are referring to. Yeah, as I told you, it's, the thing is that uh, we still, we use it in the same way that we would use it in Spanish. As in mm -hmm. the example I was given, I've been given for the whole class. Like in Spanish, you say, eh, voy a ir a la iglesia. Mm -hmm. and, it, and I mean, it could be Christian, Catholic, uh, mm -hmm. Jehovah Witness, doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. But in English, it's a whole different story. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, in Spanish, you use mm -hmm. the article because you have to use the article. You mm -hmm. cannot say, voy a ir a iglesia, right? Mm -hmm. In Spanish, it has to go. But in English, not always. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when it says use D plus a count noun to express that the noun is specific, as opposite to general. So we were uh, talking about number three, businesses are taking full advantage of the smart for revolution. Yeah, specific. Mm -hmm. We think we don't have to read, to, to cross, cross. Uh, out that one. Yeah, and you're right. Ah, okay, Oof. we have one. <laughs> Okay. No, and if you remember the tip I gave you is the only one where you are not crossing. Yes, but we think the rest example, of them uh -huh. you need to cross them. But not, for example, the number two, yes. we must cross out the cross, first one. Cross, the second one. cross, cross. Number oh. two. Uh -huh. Number two. Uh -huh. Technology has changed the. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, exactly. just the first one. Exactly. Ah, okay. So we are right. You see, Roxanne? <laughs> okay. Let's so go back we to have... my room. I will read them for you. Okay, okay. Oh. 
Okay, we're just waiting for everyone to come back. Okay, let's see, let's see. Everybody's coming in five, four, three, two, one, now. Okay, we're just gonna wait for everybody to be back. And let's see, is everybody back? Yeah, it is. Okay, guys, get your sentence ready and listen to me. I will read them with the correction, okay? So you be ready to check out. Social robots already work in customer service. I repeat, social robots already work in customer service. Number two. Technology has changed the way that businesses interact with customers. I repeat, technology has changed the way that businesses interact with customers. In this case, remember, at the beginning, we don't use that technology because technology refers to a mass noun, okay? Number three. Businesses are talking full advantage of the smartphone of the smartphone revolution. Businesses are taking full advantage of the smartphone revolution. No crossing out in this sentence. Okay. Number four. Through mobile apps, retailers send customers real-time information about products and offers. I repeat, through mobile apps, retailers send customers real-time information about products and offers. In this case, both expressions, the retailers must now, the products, no specific, okay? So you need to cross them out. Number five. The big data analytics is changing how businesses operate and communicate with customers. Why do we cross out that? Because we don't know which businesses, okay? It just says businesses in general. That's why in the end, the sentence goes, the big data analytics is changing how businesses operate and communicate with customers. And number six, they continually gather and analyze data to improve the experience. Which data? Data related to what? As it is not specific, we don't know the specific data that it's being gathered. We don't use the definite article. Okay, guys, believe it or not, time flies when we have fun. Well, in my case, I've been having fun. I hope you do also. Let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Thanks. Henry Neftali Mendez Torres. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. 
María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Okay, guys. Present teacher. Thank you, Ramon. Appreciate it. Hey guys, it's been fun, but tonight it's over. Thank you very much for attending my class. I expect to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. See ya. Just give me a second. Hey, Nicholas, there's just you. Let's see. One point five. Okay. Let's check it out. What you need, uh, Mr. Sayul Fell is texting me because his internet. This is exercise one point five. No, teacher. I'm sorry, teacher, because I left. No problem. Okay. Okay, so 1.5. Now... Which is the one that is giving you problems? Okay. Um, I have one moment. I will learn. That. Okay. So in that part, we says that introduce, rewrite the following sentence using report speech. So... Okay. I don't know why I got a mistake, but I in guess all that, of them. Uh, yeah. And first one says big online stores sell, say trust trusted brands have a strong reputation. I guess that the report speech is 
make online stores says is I Y S. Big online stores sell trusted brands have a strong reputation. You don't change nothing in this one. It is the same. Yep. You can say yeah. sell. Uh, yeah. The change is in have between have and had. Why can you use it both ways? Because it's a true. It's a general truth. It's una verdad general. Okay. We can that's use why, has. That's why you can use have. Oh. Have because yeah, look in the Zoom chat. Have okay. because you are talking about online stores, plural. Have. Mm -hmm. Next you yeah. can specialist okay. say say. PayPal is more secure than debit cards, right? Um, yep, just to just to confirm something, uh, we have to use the quotation mark, right? Not necessarily. In number one, no. Number one, no. No. But I, when I check right now, I got a uh, uh, cross. I got X. Like is a, a run. Oh, let me one moment. Mm -hmm. So, Francis Reputation. Use one. But we have to use the, the point, right? If you use how, yes. If you use how, uh -huh. Someone forgot to type it uh, in the end. Okay. Okay. The second one says a specialist cell that uh, we have to use the quotation mark. No, again, no. 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 PayPal, PayPal is more secure than debit cards. Yep. Uh, but I was using quotation mark. Well, Okay, in that case, you just need to get rid of the quotation. Uh -huh. And we don't have to use the, 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 how do I say that? Mm, we have to use a, a, well, people, we have to write like without. To be honest with you, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'll be blunt. Okay, the situation is here. Uh, the answers you got using the quotation marks are correct. The problem uh -huh. was that the person who typed the answers in the platform forgot to include all of them. Uh, okay. Because actually you got like four or five different variations and they just have uh, include two. Okay. So we it's have like to in use the first one. It's like in the third one. Look, a friend sell offers that were too good to be true might be a scam. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. They just focus on the on the on the verb changing from present to past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yep. Wow, oh, it's working. And uh, okay, now for the fourth one. A uh, blogger says mobile phone networks are more secure than public Wi-Fi. Okay. In this case, your possible answers are these ones. A blogger said mobile phone network networks where, you see? Mm -hmm. Uh, where it's more secure where than public or, or are. Yeah, that's right. 
Word. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Then consumers reported in past, right? Reported deals that were deals were hidden. Were often. Ah, were often. I'm sorry. Were, were uh, often uh, hidden. Were, hidden. Hidden. Were hidden. Yep. In web page. Yep. In web without pages. Quotation. Pages. Yeah, no quotation there. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Is it reported or reported? Reported. ED. Reported. Uh -huh. ED. Yeah, at the end. Uh, without that, with, without reported that. Yeah, you don't need that. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's it. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Okay, perfect. Have a good night. Take care. Okay, teacher. I really don't appreciate forget. your time. Teacher. No problem. No problem. That's why I'm here to help. Okay, thank you, teacher. See you. Have a good night. See ya. You too, teacher. Bye bye. Okay. And twice when we have fun. Oh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.